Hi, this is Pastor Bob, and welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. What does a Christian look like? Well, this Christian has long hair, tattoos, piercings, dresses in black every day. Is that what a Christian looks like? If I were the only Christian that a person met, they would say, well, this is what a Christian looks like. Some people that have only grown up in a church where they wear three-piece suits might say, that's what a Christian looks like. You know, a lot of my life has been spent kind of rebelling <laughs> against normal things. And I don't like to be normal. I guess you probably figured that out. And, uh, you know, if somebody's wearing a three-piece suit, I want to dress like this. And uh, I even tell people that these days, you know, if they ask me to do their wedding, um, many times they say, you know, I'd be happy to, but this is how I dress. You know, I don't do a suit, I don't do a tie. Well, that's me, and not everybody's like that. But, you know, why do I dress that way? Because I'm trying to prove a point? No, I dress this way because I like it. And some people say, well, you know, he dresses that way because he's trying to uh, be cool for the younger generation and on and on and on, and none of that's true. I dress this way because it's what I like. It's my taste, it's my style. And you know, this, these days, people have a lot of different styles for Christian dress. I was watching a video with a guy the other day who's a, a pretty popular Christian artist, and he was giving an interview, and uh, in front of him was the beer that he was drinking, and then he was smoking a cigarette as he was talking uh, about his relationship with the Lord. And, and I understand that you know neither one of those two things will send you to hell. And you know, I always tell people that you don't go to hell for smoking, you just smell like you've been there. <laughs> but, you know, these days it's kind of become the cool thing to do. And uh, here in the United States, and especially some countries that I visit, uh, it's very popular for Christians to drink a lot and smoke a lot, which is really unhealthy, by the way. And so we've, we've, uh, we've started, um, I guess, addictions because we have the freedom in our faith to do it, which it makes no sense. You know, and when you look at a Christian, are you impressed with a Christian bad boy that's smoking a cigarette as he's talking about his relationship? Or are you more impressed with that guy in the three-piece suit that's standing behind the pulpit and yelling at everybody? Not to say that everybody in the three-piece suit does that. But you see what I'm saying? The bottom line, once again, is this. Even when we try to be outside of the box, we're still in one. You know, I've gone through a lot of different styles, and a lot of them have been rebellious, honestly. You know, when I had my huge afro, and I mean, it was this big. Uh, people used to look at me all the time, and I like that. I like being very different and being a Christian. Um, and I thought, you know, this is kind of cool because people see an alternative form of Christianity and yet these days that seem, it seems a little silly. And, you know, as hard as we fought for long hair <laughs> years ago, this generation has basically short hair. And I never thought I'd see that. But they rebel against their parents who have long hair. It just goes on and on and on. And every time we think we're out of the box and we're different, we're not. So what am I saying? Folks, it, again, has nothing to do with the outside. It only has to do with the inside. People are not impressed by how you look. It may be a first impression, but it's not a lasting one. They're impressed by Jesus that they see inside of you. And when you live your life in front of people, the outside disappears and they begin to see who you are. And that Christian tough boy or that Christian legalist, they don't go real far. It's the person who has the heart of God. It's the person whose fruit you see love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, etc. That's the stuff that makes a difference. So if you're dressing to impress, even dressing to convert others, you're wasting your time. It doesn't have anything to do with it. Dress because it, it's you, because it represents you. But don't blame it on your faith or on your ministry because that has to do with your heart and that's a lot more difficult. Live your life in front of people. God bless you. Have a great day.